Alright guys, in this next video I'm going to be showing you how to wire up two dual voice coil 4 ohm image dynamic 10 inch subwoofers uh, to a 1 ohm load presented at the amplifier. Um, the way we do that is we're going to wire everything parallel, meaning the positive is going to go into positive and the negatives are going to be going into the negatives. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Uh, but first, I just want to go over real quick the uh, terminal cups that we provide and how to assemble these, just in case there's any questions on that. There's a 7 millimeter nut on the back that needs to be loosened. You want to take this nut off. And you want to put your red wire over on the side that has a positive sign right there. On one side you have negative, which is the black wire. Obviously, I have this side prepped for you already and the positive side is going to have your red wire so you're going to just slide your terminal ring right over the terminal and then go ahead and replace this uh, this nut we took off and tighten it back up it's a seven millimeter nut you don't want to go extremely tight you just want to go nice and snug on there just to make sure it doesn't get loose at all this is ready to be put into the box now so go ahead and put your wiring from the terminal cup into the terminal cup hole we always include screws for your terminal cups so you can screw them into your box. Okay, now for wiring up these subs, you're going to need a couple of jumpers, two negative and two positive. And then you're going to have one uh, wiring here that goes from one subwoofer to the next. First, we're going to take our polyfill, spread it around on the inside of the box. The goal of this is to reach all four corners of the box. Make sure that your polyfill is spread out nice and even. Try to cover up as much of the inside of the box as you can. Okay, so we're going to start off by grabbing one of our small jumpers here and going from the positive terminal and taking our negative and going from the negative terminal and what we're going to do with these we're going to join them up with our subwoofer wiring that's feeding the next subwoofer so we're going to join our positives together just by twisting them up and we're going to be placing these on the opposite voice coil into the negative terminal. And we're going to take our positives and we're going to do the same thing. Join our positives together and put those into the positive terminal on the opposite voice coil. So there's a kind of quick look at it. We got positive going into positive and negative going into the negative. So then you're going to feed this wire from in one hole and out the next place your subwoofer in, since this subwoofer is already wired in, it's ready to be screwed in. You're going to take your opposite subwoofer, the, uh, the other subwoofer, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take your negative wiring, put it into the negative terminal, take your positive wiring, go into the positive terminal, and actually what you want to do is you want to join together your negative, these two negatives, the negative that's coming from your other subwoofer and the negative jumper that you're about to create, that you just created, I should say. And that's going to be going into one terminal and then the positive is going to be going into that same same uh, voice coil, that same side. And what you should be left with is a negative and a positive jumper going from one voice coil ready to go into the next and we're going to join these with the two wires that are coming from your terminal cup your positive and your negative so go ahead and twist your negatives together and put that into the negative terminal on the leftover voice coil 
and do the same thing with the positives. Join these two positives together. Just twist them up and put them into the last positive uh, terminal on this voice coil. Here's a look at what it at what it should um, what your wiring should look like under negative to negative, and this is feeding the terminal cup and the opposite subwoofer, and then positive to positive, doing the exact same thing. Again, you want to make sure none of your wiring is caught up under here or underneath the uh, subwoofer itself and it's not going to interfere in any way. These are ready to be screwed in. 